Sugar Papa 5 Delta Uniform Stroke Portable Activating a Park Let's call him Yes All right, I made a QSO on 40 meters with Sugar Papa 5 Delta Uniform Portable activating a park. Hello guys, this is Lena Slim, my Yankee 2 Hotel. And this is my most complicated kit so far. It's working now, but you have to be very patient before your dream comes true as DX. I bought my kit from China, dealer Sunny, and she's approved by Mikael Delta Lima 2 Michael Fanensi, because according to the license, anybody can make commercial product out of this design, but uh, he or she must, uh, must get approval from Mikael, who is the, one of the authors of this um, True SDX project. I got the package, um, the package pretty fast, it took only maybe two weeks. In the beginning I thought I will build this kit quickly and join the happy bunch of other YouTubers who built this through SDX radio months before me and now they are running in the fields, climbing mountains and visiting parks with this radio and making nice videos. So, my radio started working first time, I switched it on after assembly and I was very happy with this. But then, somehow, I got my final transistor dead. I don't know why, but it just kicked the bucket uh, in the middle of uh, tuning, uh, you know, tuning and, you know, testing the power output. So that was, uh, by the way, the FDT. 86256 uh, transistor. It's a very nice transistor. It's just one. You need just one transistor to produce uh, around five watts of output, which is nice. And what I really like about this um, kit is that you know uh, the PCB uh, foresees a possibility for you uh, to install whatever type of transistor you want. You know you can install. Uh, this transistor FDT86256 uh, you can install another one transistor a bit smaller like IRL something or you can install traditional you know well-known 3BS170 field effect transistors I just uh, decided that I will use 3BS170 cause sim simply because I have you know a handful of them knowing that these transistors in such experimental designs they tend to kick the bucket at any time so it's always good to have a replacement so and i decided to mount them into sockets so that's my little mod here are these three sockets for the each of the transistor bs170s take a transistor and easily pull it out from the socket and you don't need to desolder very convenient and that's fine um it, it started working again but then i noticed that when i uh, squeeze the, the 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 package of two pcbs you know like that even in the box uh, and it, it started to behave somehow er erratically uh the, the the power output appears and disappears and you know something wrong with the with the inter pcb connector i thought so, so i decided to replace the inter pcb connector and i did the old inter pcb connector was successfully removed i just need to clean up all these all these holes but all holes are open there is a through contact i discovered that beneath the inter PCB connector uh, there was one track this track you see uh, damaged there was a crack here between the hole 
and the track where it connects to the hose is disattached. So this is bad because this track is a 12 volt line to the power amplifier transistors. And well, that's that could explain the strange behavior sometimes you know, with my power amplifier. Bad news is that it's not so easy to repair. I had to scratch some, you know, uh, paint off the track and now I need to proceed with the microsurgery operation. So uh, this is a teeny tiny piece of wire, you know, like, you know, maybe 0 0.3, something like that millimeter in diameter. And I'm going to put it through this hole, sort it to this um, track and then uh, to sort it from the other side. And then uh, there's going to be space enough to fit the new inter-PCB connectors body. All right, guys. So as if the cracked track was not enough for me, this little radio offered another surprise for me. So after replacing uh, the transistors, after fixing the cracked track, it's all was working again, except that the three bands, 40, 20 and 10 meter bands were dead. No receiving, no transmitting. I mean, nothing, quiet. So after, you know, doing some troubleshooting, uh, tracing where's the signal going, I discovered with great surprise that it was the mechanical contacts in relays of three bands just broken somehow it's pretty easy to to check you know you can just take a wire jumper connect one end to the to the low pass filter and the other end to straight to the rf point on the inter pcb connector in this way bypassing the relay of, of given band and then you see, you know, if your low pass filter is connected to, to, to the schematics or not. So that's weird. But it turned to be the fault of the relay. Relay is Omron Japan, which is written on the relay that this is Omron Japan. I'm very surprised how comes that these relays just, you know, kick the bucket so strangely, all three almost at the same time, not exactly at the same time, but after some time during the same hour, I would say. So here you can see 40 meter relay removed from its place, from its seat here, as you can see. So you, you have to have the right tools to do this and uh, a removal of uh, parts and components from the PCB is usually risky and some demanding some skills. To do that, I've been using special desoldering iron. So it's, it's like a soldering iron, just, you know, it's got a tip uh, with a hole and it got a suction pump here. So here is 20 meter relay, which I think also is faulty. I will have to remove it also, so. It's advisable to apply a bit of soldering flux. All or almost all solder is gone from uh, from this track. So if it's not enough, you have to repeat it, but do it very carefully because the desoldering iron is pretty powerful, maybe 40 watts or something. And if you overheat the track, it might come off from the from the board. So that's not what we want to do. It's always good to, you know, to make sure that each leg of the relay is, you know, moving and there's no, no solder in there anymore around it. I use my tiny screwdriver. I put it gently underneath the relay and I lift it up gently and you can see that relay is coming off. It's difficult uh, removing a part when the other parts are soldered in around, but what can we do? Things getting damaged. 
exactly at the worst moments so okay so i think the relay is coming off okay yes i replaced these relays with another relay similar relays just from axicom i took these relays from the back of another true sdx kit which i have also but that's another story by the way i think you 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 should consider consider you know subscribing because uh, it might be more stories about another kit of true sdx from another provider of kits which is also not working yet i replaced these three relays and everything is working now so everything's working now uh, i i i tweaked the filters that's absolutely nice and easy using the nano dna so now the output power is four to five watts at 12 volts on all bands from 80 to 10. lima yankee 2 hotel qrp lima yankee 2 hotel qrp lima yankee 2 hotel lima yankee 2 hotel qrp over over Roger, Roger, you are 5 by 9 to 59 to please your call sign again, please your call sign again. Roger, Roger, QSL, thank you very much, 7344. Yeah, everything's fine, except that I don't have the correct reading of SWR power meter, efficiency meter, all these things which True SDX is famous of. The SWR and power meter and efficiency meter w was working in the beginning, just right after assembly of, uh, of the kit. And then, I don't know, something's happened and I, I, I can't tell when and what happened, maybe after replacement of the final transistor, uh, maybe after replacement of relays, I don't know, but uh, everything is working now except of this functionality of, you know, uh, reading power, SWR and efficiency and all of these things, um, which, which, which is really useful and interesting features, even, even if uh, I don't think I need to know every given second what my efficiency is at the moment, but it's just interesting, you know, it's an experimenter's radio, it's not a beginner's radio. So I've tried everything but uh, the kitchen sink uh, and uh, so it's, it, it's no, no readings. I mean, the raw readings, they are erratic. It, it, it reads like output power 14.4 or 13.4 uh, watts and the uh, SWR is 9.99 or the efficiency is 99.9 all the advices were checked like no please check the tran transformer t1 and t2 uh, please clean uh, the, the the legs of these transformers very thoroughly yes i did i did i did all everything's done no problems everything is clean contacts in place that everything's fine except of one thing which uh, Manuel DL2MAN uh, has written in his uh, post in the forum. By the way, very nice, lively and knowledgeable forum. Manuel has written uh, in, in his post that uh, if contact business is fine and uh, then it's still no readings, no good work of SWR power efficiency metering, so then it's probably uh, the microprocessor got tapped. Oops, that's good news. Thank you very much. So, but uh, as it is now, I decided I leave it as it is. I can live without this functionality. All the rest of the radio works perfectly. Uh, I'm just hesitant to start changing uh, the Atmega microprocessor uh, when it's actually working. I I I can you know. Uh, load the firmware on it uh, easily. I can make all the updates of uh, firmware and um, well, 
I, I don't know. What's, what's your opinion? I'm interested in your opinion, guys. So please leave a message, a comment in the comment section. And uh, because it's interesting, you know, to find out in the end of the day for the sake of experiment. So guys, with this, I end today's story. It shouldn't be a story like this, complaints and rants about my problems with this radio. I think this video was informative for, for, for those who are just going to build one. Even if uh, there is probably 3000 of these uh, tiny radios around in the world, you know, working happily, but it might happen that your exactly like mine exactly a copy of, of of the boards and the components on it could be some some kind of faulty it happens so with this see you later tara for now peace and victory for ukraine see you in my next video 73 this is linas lima yankee 2 hotel